Hey, what's up, YouTube? Leo Shank here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. Today is August 1st, 2017. Summertime, right? I'm sweating. I haven't even started fishing yet. And I'm sweating like crazy, guys. It is about 85 degrees Fahrenheit out here today, okay? Whew. It is my outing number 93 of the year. And I decided to use the opportunity today to actually explore a new watershed. That's right. Check this out. I feel like I am in some kind of RPG game. No jokes. Like, we got the village right over there. I'm on top of the cliff, kind of the meadows here. You got one lake over here. A little spillway on the side. And there's just the forest. No civilization, right? Just the forest on the other side. I mean, it is about 12 p.m. right now, and legit, I'm the only person here. Nobody else is here. Doesn't, I mean, it's just incredible, right? Where, where is everybody, man? This is nuts, right? But anyways, I'm going to be fishing this place called the Bradford Reservoir today. It is a place that has been close to me, and, I, and somehow, you know, I never just, I never thought of hitting it, you know, until today. And the cool thing about it is today we are not only going to explore this place, we are going to use a new lure as well. Check this out. I got with me here the Euro Tackle Micro Finesse Dark Knight. Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar or not. If you guys are longtime subscribers of the channel, you know that I did a few videos for Euro Tackle back in the days on the Micro Finesse collection. Shrimp Axe, Hanisoptera, Triple Tail, Crazy Critter, Fat Assassin, Eurogrub and Eurogrub Junior, right? I'll link those videos above if you haven't checked it out yet. And recently they came with a new with new models for the Micro Finesse collection, you know? So we're gonna use this lure right here that resembles flies, like resembles mosquitoes, you know, 0.6 inches, okay, about half an inch, and we will see if we can catch some fish over here today. So I'm gonna get my stuff set up right here and a few things I would like to point out about this lure, right? Before we get the fishing started. This is the Eurotaco Micro Finesse Dark Knight. I actually like the color, you know, it kind of does look like the Dark Knight, right? 0.6 inches, okay? This is a very, very small soft plastic and it is made in Russia. I mean, guys, I have fish lures from all around the world, you know what I'm saying? And I gotta tell you, man, I, I think this is the first time that I'm fishing a lure that was made in Russia, you know? So here we go, huh? we got the Dark Knight, 0.6 inches, about half an inch, all right? It's got three legs on each side, two wings, and it really, really does resemble a fly. The material is also very cool, very soft. You know, so I think I think we're gonna catch some fish on this today. I mean, certainly I hope so. I have seen fish eat flies before. You know, I have fed flies to my fish in my fishing tank. You know, so we will see. Let's get the set up. Let's see what the species are around this area. Let's get the fishing started. So I'm starting the day right here next to this juicy spillway. Because as you guys know, I mean, I just love. Is spillway fishing, right? This is like, it looks amazing over here. And I'm starting with a really, really natural presentation. I'm, I just put the soft plastic on a size 12 hook, as you guys can see, all right? Size 12 hook, no additional weight, all right? So we're gonna fish it like very natural style. Just put it on top of the water and see if anything comes around and gets it, you know? Kind of a dapping, is staying on top of the water type of thing. So let's do it. Man, this is some, this is a juicy spillway area. I mean, there's gotta be some fish around here, right? Let's see. Ooh, there's some fish. I see some sunfish. I see some sunfish. Whoa, fish on. First fish of the day, dude. Oh, look at that, dude. Inhaled that fly, dude. Oh my God, look at this. Dude, it choked on that fly. First species of the day is a green sunfish. Look at that, the Lepomis. Cianellus. Whoa, 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 easy. I'm gonna take a photo of you, then we're gonna release you, okay, buddy? Come here. All right. First fish of the day. Check that out, huh? Little green sunfish. At least we know there's some fish around the spillway now, huh? Ooh, ooh all right, all right, buddy.
Oh, got him. What we got here, second species of the day. Look at that. So there are some sunfish around here. The bluegill oh, and the green sunfish are very interested in it. Look at that. When I say interested, dude, I mean, they're choking on that little bug like it is the real deal, you know? Look at that. Wow, that's crazy. So this stuff definitely works, okay? Let's take a shot of our little bluegill here. I'm gonna put him back. Wow, legit, legit. Check this out, huh? Beautiful colors on this bluegill right here. You got the blue on the operculum. Very flashy, by the way. Black on the opercular flap. And the vertical is stripes, huh? Second species of the day here. The little spillway is definitely working for us. Ooh, there's something over here that looks quite different. What is it? What is it? Oh, it's a green sunfish. Look at that. Oh, wait a moment, fish. Yeah, it is a green sunfish. Look at that. I knew it. I saw, I saw the characteristics of the fish in the water, right? I saw the yellow and the white right over here. I just knew it was going to be a green sunfish. Mean, mean looking green sunfish too, all right? He's saying, let me go, dude. All right, good to go, man. Wow, look at that. That's a nice green sunfish right here. I mean, not big, big, right? But it's still a green sunfish regardless. Look at this. Whoo, yeah. So yeah, folks, I've been fishing the fly, the little fly, the dark night for a little while here. Every fish has been choking it on the size 12 hook, man. They are really into it, you know, but it's all bluegill and green sunfish. I mean, nothing else, you know? So a little bit monotonous when it comes to the species, right? But uh, we have been doing a good job on it today so far. At least we know that this little lure is indeed very finesse and it actually works, right? So that's definitely a positive point. All right, come on, green sunfish. That's good, give me back my lure, okay? All right, let's release it just over here. Boom, I think it's about time for us to pursue some other species today. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm smelling it. Whew. it. Smells like sewage. But these are the places where you usually hit jackpot, you know? So, oh man, it really smells like sewage. Damn, dude. Oh my God. Is there even any fish in here? It's moving water. How deep is this thing? Oh, oh, fish on. Oh, there's fish in here, all right? There's fish in here. Whoa, third species of the day. Came out of this little sewage smelling thing right here. It's a red breast sunfish. I was starting to wonder if there's a species here or not because I don't see anything swimming around, but check this out, huh? Yeah, little red breast sunfish. Wow, three different types of sunfish in one day. Now that's good stuff. Okay, self-release right here. Well, he is going to be in a better place because over here, you actually have more food than over there, you know? Let's see what else we can catch. Oh, fish on. A bluegill, okay. Oh my God, this bluegill's got some kind of disease on it too. Look at this, oh my freaking God, man. What is going on with the fish here? What the heck are those? Oh my God. Oh, you know what? I ain't touching that, man. You're just going back directly where you came from. I don't know, man. I don't know. The heck was that? Oh, fish on. Oh, oh, whoa. Okay. A little bit better now, look at that. Oh yeah, now this is what I'm talking about here, boys and girls. This is a nice size bluegill right here, look at that. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. Now this is a nice sunfish for today. Pan fishing at its best on the dark night, man. Let's release this guy uh, over here. Oh, okay. What is that? Whoa, not, dude, we are catching all the sunfish today. Check this out. It's a hybrid. Oh my God, another type of sunfish for today is a bluegill green sunfish 
hybrid look at this this is crazy i mean although we're not catching uh you know a lot of different species right it is a sunfish galore today so far look at that nuts man definitely very interesting you know i changed to the 164 ounce jig head right thinking maybe i'm gonna catch some more species over here uh, look at that huh catching all the different types of sunfish here that's a beauty right there man oh look at that it's another red breast sunfish wow that's crazy so there is a there is some red breast sunfish over here after all look at that second one of the day inhale that fly too this is nuts man this is really really nuts who would think little spillway has at least three different species of sunfish and some hybrids too that is uh that's pretty good pretty good whoa there we go after a long long time look what we got here the final species this is a super factor right here the final species of sunfish that we're looking for the pumpkin siege we got the bluegill, red breast, green sunfish, and pumpkin seed all from one spot. That is crazy, dude. Crazy. Man, that's awesome to be able to catch a sunfish superfecta here at this little spillway at the Bradford Reservoir, huh? That is pretty nuts. We got all four of them. Oh, yeah. Look how beautiful it is under the water. It's a beautiful sunfish. The only thing I don't like about this place, the water it smells like crap. Whew, it really feels like I'm fishing in the sewage, man. I don't know. There's something wrong with the water here. Ooh, another tap. Ooh, what the heck? Yo, there's some fish back there. That's right, getting there. Who knows, maybe there's a 10 pounder back there. Oh, fish on! Oh, fish on the Senko! On the Senko! What is it? I knew it! There's gotta be something different than sunfish here, right? Oh, species number six of the day the largemouth bass on the Senko, all the way back there. Been working the little fly for quite a while, so I thought, man, it's about time to change to something a little bit bigger and see if there are any predatory species of fish here, right? Look at that. First cast on the Senko back there. We scored a small and feisty <laughs> largemouth bass, man. We didn't take a shot at that guy, but that, that's fine. Maybe we'll catch another one, you know? At least we know there's some largemouth bass over here now. Good stuff quick update so i have been fishing the spillway over here for about 45 minutes and as you guys saw in this video this is a really good spot to take your kids to you know i mean non-stop action on the panfish right we caught bluegill green sunfish red breast sunfish pumpkin seed and even a little hybrid you know but in terms of game fish only one large mouth bass okay that was it in 45 minutes okay uh, the only thing I don't like about this place and I would like to emphasize is the water I mean maybe it is just today maybe it is just me I don't know it smells like sewage all right and I'm not an expert when it comes to this kind of stuff but check this out there's a lot of these around here look at that uh, some type of mollusk some type of snail right I don't know if this is a good sign or a bad or a bad sign if you know about this dude let me know in the comment section but i think we're done with the spillway for today let's go to the main lake see if we can do some damage on the fly and on the other lures that i have here oh my god dude Whew. i'm getting old for this stuff jeez louise okay Whew. oh my god back to getting a view Whew, from the village there's still nobody around that's crazy man why there's nobody here i don't get it oh fish on 
Oh yeah, look at that. This is what we've been catching the whole time here at the lake. Bluegill after bluegill after bluegill. This one's in bad shape too. Something took a bite out of it. Look at that, huh? that's crazy. But yeah, folks, I've been, I've been jigging the dark night here. And uh, as you guys can see, right, first thing, I think the water level is really, really low at the reservoir, right? You see all that mark over there on the other side? I think that's where the water level used to be. I've been jigging the stuff, man. Only sunfish so far. So I got to be switching spots, walking around. Hopefully we'll catch something else. Ooh. Ooh, that little hole right there. I'm digging it. There should be, there should be a fish in this little hole right here. There should be, let's see. Oh, look at that, I knew it. I knew there was going to be a little sunfish in that juicy hole. Look at that, it's, oh man, it's a little green sunfish. What? As small as one of the day too. But yeah, man, as I like to tell people, when you see a hole like that and you are a multi-species angler, never be afraid of putting your stuff in the hole. You know what I'm saying? Look, this is what it comes out of it. Look at that. Check that, huh? Where the heck did that fish go? Holy moly, dude. Why a little green sunfish is going to give me so much hard time, huh? Look. Go back to your hole. Hmm, very, very interesting. So I was having a tough time at the reservoir. You know, the reservoir was just filled with vegetation, not very accessible. So I followed the reservoir all the way to its other end. And this is where I ended up at. Check this out. I'm here at the little spot, right? Where water actually comes from here into the little Neshamini Creek. This is the little Neshamini Creek kind of overgrown right and it flows all the way into Bradford Reservoir so this was a long walk for me man I mean I got a heat stroke already you know this is what I gotta do I gotta do some micro fishing over here now with the with the fly the dark night just using pieces of it and then I gotta call it a day let's see what micro species we can pull out of the little Neshamini Creek Ooh, got him. What is this? That's definitely another species for today. That's for sure. Now, what species is this? Let's see. Ooh, this is species number six for us today. Ooh, it is a, I believe it is a spot fin shiner. Let me take a closer, closer look at it, but I'm pretty sure this is a spot fin, a spot fin shiner, all right? I'm pretty sure, but uh, we will see. I'll identify a little bit later today. All right, final view of our little shiner here. Time for you to go. Oh, look at that, huh? Species number seven for today. It's a fat Eastern mosquito fish. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, son, look at that, huh? Gambusia holbrooki. Very small, micro fishing at its best. Check it out, then people. This one here is actually pregnant, which is why its belly is so big. Look at that, huh? Man, it's gotta lay some eggs real soon. Whew. All right, folks, we did a little bit of pan fishing, a little bit of multi species, and a little bit of micro fishing today. Uh, very interesting experience, right? My first time exploring the watersheds around the Bradford Reservoir, but I scouted a lot of spots today, potential spots for the future, you know? So it was definitely a very productive day, although we didn't really catch much besides the panfish, you know what I'm saying? Uh, conclusions for this video, right? I would bait very hot and very tough out here this little lure right here, the Aerotaco Micro Finesse 0.6 inches dark night, definitely works, okay? Man, the fish, they were on the fly today, okay? I mean, the lure that resembles a mosquito, all right? So I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave the link in the description of the video just in case you guys want to buy some and want to give it a try. This video is not sponsored by Aerotaco, okay? I'm doing it out of my own will, all right? I just thought 
it would be a really cool idea to come out with a lure that actually resembles mosquitoes, right? Flies and give it a, tr a try, right? And as we saw today, man, this is a panfish killer. You know what I'm saying? But guys, whew, it is very hot. Time for me to go to Wawa, get something to drink. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time.